Dang, um, how big of a win was this today? Yeah, <clears throat> it was definitely big. Um, you know, it was a tough week for all of us, man. And, you know, to go through what we went through, um, not just us. I don't want to put the focus on us, man. But for DeMar to go through what he went through, man, it's, it, it touched a lot of our hearts. And, uh, I mean, it was definitely an emotional week for all of us, man. And, you know, he gave us strength throughout the week, just constant, you know, positive updates. And um, just knowing that he's doing better, man. And, you know, I can't lie, that FaceTime call we had with him earlier this week, man, put a lot of our hearts, you know, kind of at ease a little bit, man, just knowing that he's doing better, knowing that he's going to be fine. Um, still a long journey for him, man. But, I mean, it touched a lot of our hearts because, uh, you know, obviously that was, a, that was a scary moment for a lot of us. And I'm just glad that, you know, the Lord was on his side. Sure. And, uh, I mean, all thanks to the man above, man, because, you know, he got him through this. And, um, you know, I'm extremely happy for him. I'm extremely happy to see, you know, how he, you know, continues to progress through this thing, man. And, you know, I know he's happy. I can't wait to talk to him, man. And this one was for, for sure for three. Tremaine, is there a symbolism of getting three interceptions on defense for number three today? What about man, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. But that's how the, the man above works. Facts. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, we, like I said, man, we put all our trust in the man above. And, mm -hmm. you know, none of this would be possible. None of, this would, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for him. And, um, you know, I just thank him. And uh, it's a coincidence how something like that happens, man. And, you know, it's, that's all his work. But, you know, hopefully DeMar is smiling. Hopefully DeMar is happy. Hopefully he's doing, he's doing better. And uh, this one was definitely for Deion. Terry, can you take us from the, everybody was scared on Monday mm -hmm. to today where you get to celebrate his recovery, all the fans here, the atmosphere, how in a short period of time how things changed and how it felt to take the field with, with everything <coughs> for DeMar today. I mean, mainly it's just the fact that we we found out he's he's okay and he's doing better. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the main focus. Like like Tremaine Tremaine said. I mean, glory to God. You know what I'm saying? So it's just we're just thankful to have him and him. We uh, Dang talked to him on Facetime after after the win and and he's smiling, happy, moving, talking. So it's just it's just lovely to see. And I, I'm just happy that that he's moving forward. Wow, I mean, I was just, I mean, it was spectacular, not to mention the second one, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, <laughs> he really did his thing, you know, and uh, it's, a, it's a great, great weapon to have. Just before the game started, we got our first look at DeMar. He tweeted out a photo. Have you guys seen this photo? Do you know? I, I haven't seen it yet. So he tweeted out a photo from the hospital, the uh, heart check from him, just to, to know that he was putting that out right before the, the game and, you know, saying it's game time and, and thinking of you guys and, and just showing the world uh, how he's doing right now. I mean, it, it, it speaks on his character. Um, you know, all that he's going through, man, to still be able to, to show us that support, still be able to, you know, to let the world know that he's still in tune into the game, man, it means a lot. Because this, this game is bigger than us. Uh, it's bigger than one man out there. And, um, you know, just to see that and just to see that, you know, our brother is still riding with us, man, through all that he's been through throughout this whole week. I mean, it means joy to, joy to my heart, man, just to know that, you know, he's still counting on us, man. He's still supporting us. And um, I mean, that's what more can you ask for? Uh, There's nothing that we can hang our heads on, man, because he's battling. You know what I mean? He's battling. He's been been in a constant battle, and uh, I mean, definitely very emotional. But you know, tears are for, tears are for healing, man. So you know, a lot of guys healed through that. A lot of guys, you know, got stronger. He got stronger. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, man, just to know that he's doing well, I mean, that goes way beyond the game of football. Aaron, was there interaction with, with the Patriots at all regarding? Their <coughs> Big game, it's a huge game, your fierce rivals, but was there interaction about DeMar specifically? Uh, not, not for me. I mean, maybe for some other players. I mean, when I came out to warm-ups, I saw that they had their uh, DeMar shirts on. And obviously, you know, when when we saw what we saw on Monday, like, it touched everybody, you know, every every football player around the, uh, around the country. So I know I know that they were praying for him. I know the whole league was praying for him. So it's just it's just thankful that, that – we all have the ability to do that and, and, and represent him the right way. I'm just curious think? what this week was like for you in addition to everything going on with DeMar, you also going through the concussion protocol. What, what was this week kind of like? I mean, I, I felt fine. You know, I, I went through a concussion protocol, but, you know, I just felt like it wasn't really about me. You know what I'm saying? It's about, it's about DeMar right now. That's, that's something bigger than, than football or me playing or not. So I just felt like I felt fine, and I just want all to focus on him.
obviously your hearts were in this move, but how did you guys overcome what was just an exhausting move for, for everyone on your team? Uh, I I feel like I mean we're resilient, man. That that's 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 the biggest biggest word I, I could put in into us right now is that we're resilient. And uh, I mean, there's been other situations, obviously none to the to the magnitude of, of Demar, but there's been other situations that we've had to go through and, and and been through. And I feel like that only makes us stronger. Do you think the, the tension was broken through at some point during the game? And if so, when? Or, or do you think you guys played the whole time and so a little bit hesitant? Uh. You know, it's hard to speak on, you know, obviously <clears throat> everybody was affected by it, um, you know, but I think that opening kick just to see, you know, how God works, man, that was definitely like, it was crazy just to witness. And, um, you know, so I know a lot of guys are probably battling through a lot of stuff throughout the whole game, but, you know, I was just glad that we was able to do it for DeMar. I say, I mean, it just gave us juice, you know what I'm saying? It just gave us that that extra push, you know, we got to uh, we gotta go out there and play, you know? So that was huge. And uh, anytime you score on those special teams, it's a, it's a huge lift up for the for the defense, for the offense, for the whole team, and, and we needed those. Tony, when you mentioned it's different for everyone, what was the first defensive drive like for you specifically? It's just kind of obviously a huge electric start to the game, but then just going out there. You know, to be honest, you know, I, I don't even want to put the focus on me. Um, you know, obviously it was it was emotional, um, but you know, just the back of my mind is wanted to do it for Demar. I know, obviously, as a team, that's, that was our focus, and you know, I'm glad we was able to get it done. You looking forward to playing Miami, quote unquote, the third time this year? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, um, take my hat off to Dean. Um, you know, he didn't blink once his name got called. Um, showed it throughout the week with practice, film study, and just communication across the board. Uh, you know, I got trust in him. Um, that's that's the main thing about when you step out there, you know, with somebody filling a role. <clears throat> and, um, you know, Dean's been here before, man. You know, he's a great leader, great teammate. Um, you know, he didn't blink. He was helping out the young guys when he first got here. Um, now that his role, you know, obviously, you know, is, has been expanded. Um, you know, he didn't blink. And uh, like I said, I take my hat off to him, and that goes the type of person he is, just mm -hmm. being able to step in and, you know, being able to play in big-time games like this and, you know, not losing a step. So, you know, definitely take my hat off to Dean. Jermaine, we heard so much this week about what Sean McDermott was like helping you guys prepare, helping you guys do what you needed to be ready for today. What was he like today? Yeah, um, you know, just the way Coach McDermott handled the whole situation, man, um, you know, it's top-notch leadership. Um, you know, to, to do some of the things, to make some of the decisions that he made, um, I know it's not easy for no man. And, um, I mean, I'm glad to, you know, to call that man my coach, you know what I mean, just to rally behind him and just to see the type of leadership that he showed. Um, you know, obviously he showed some emotion, but to still be able to get us prepared to play this football game, man, is, you know, you couldn't ask for anything more. Jermaine, you guys saw on Monday night a routine play that had a really scary ending. Was it difficult? How difficult was it for you to just go back out there and, and play football again and just go through those routine plays again? Yeah, I think it's tough. Um, <clears throat> in particular, you know, just being on the field um, and, you know, just knowing that it could really happen to any one of us. Um, it was definitely tough. But <clears throat> through all of that, man, I think more of the focus was more so on making sure that Mar was okay rather than, you know, worrying about the, the, the long-term effects of our, about us. Um, I think it was just more so making sure that he was good, and that's where our focus was at. And that's where a lot of our mindsets was at, just checking in and, you know, getting those constant updates was definitely, you know, a sigh of relief for a lot of us. Jermaine, can you talk about, can you talk about the way your teammate Taron Johnson played today? <laughs> I got my dog up for once. <laughs> <clears throat> man, Taron is a baller, man. He's a dog for sure. Um, you know, we came in together, man, and since day one, uh, I already knew that. You know what I mean? You turn the film on, you flying around, physical. Um, I like to call him a linebacker myself, man, but, you know, um, <clears throat> made a lot of big time plays for us, a lot of, a lot of physical plays for us, and, you know, I expect nothing less from him, man. I take my hat off to him, extreme hard worker. Um, we, you know, even time in the film room, stuff off the field, man, just a better teammate, and, you know, when you have that connection off the field, it just makes it ten times better when you're on the field playing with your brother, so, you know, definitely Thanks. a baller, man, and, you know, I wouldn't want to go to war with nobody else. Thanks. Get 
I mean, I can't necessarily. I mean, we, we prayed a lot. I mean, that's that's probably the biggest thing I can say about us is that we prayed every day for uh, DeMar and look how God works. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, we're just blessed that uh, that he's that he's working and, and, and we want to keep moving forward. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.